we're going to have a look at the new extension by Escape called Spot, which is a fun little tool for escape rooms. So I'll show you first what it looks like and then I'll show you how to make it. So here's the example. So I can use this lamp, for example, to find some invisible writing on this page. Or I can also find something in the dark. So here I've got all kinds of objects appearing in the dark and I need to click on the pig to get to the next page. I can also um, magnify things. So here we've got tiny little spiders and if I go over them, they go bigger. And we've got a little uh, pig again. So here we've got another example. We are looking around with the magnifying glass and then we found a piece of paper, which we can then inspect a bit more. So I'm lighting the candles by going around and then I can take this candle here to search the page as well so, and this is using several ex different extensions so really we've got three different types of extensions here so we've got the torch extension the lamp extension and then the the small extension i would say and you can combine them in different ways so here's my first example so what i want to happen is that you can see the box and to get the cat out of the box, you need to wave around a fish and the cat will appear. So let's have a look at the template. So we've got either the purple set or the orange set. The difference is that in the purple set, you turn things on. That means once you've turned them on or you've discovered them, they will stay on the page and not disappear again. While with the orange set, they only appear as long as your lamp, so to speak, is near it. Okay, so for the cat, we want it to appear and stay on. So we need the purple set. First of all, we need the bright yellow box here, which you need for all of them. This is the code that works in the background, so just keep it on your page somewhere. And we want the torch and the flame. Okay, but in our case here, our torch is the fish, because that's the thing that I'm going to move around. And the flame, namely the thing that I want to appear, is the cat. So I group them together. So I just click on the two objects, group them together. The yellow bit needs to be in the background that will be invisible later on. Because I want to move the fish around, I want to click on the drag element there. So now I can move it. Let's try it out, yes. And if I move the fish around, here the cat appears. So I've tempted it out of the box. Okay, obviously it would be better if the fish was in the foreground, so I need to make sure that my layering is correct. And as you can see, if I take the fish away again, uh, the cat still stays there. So how it works is that this object will appear as soon as this uh, purple box touches the other purple box. So if I show you, if I go at the top of the cat, nothing happens, so it's only at the bottom there. So if I want to make sure that it works for the whole cat, what I need to do is make this much bigger and cover a larger area. And I might also want to make this one bigger so that really the whole fish is active, so to speak. So we group this together. Now we group the cat and this purple box together. Group. There you go. And I need to remember to have the fish active again and put it in the top layer. So now it should work even if I move up here. Yes, you can see because I've made the purple box bigger, it now works anywhere in this area. Okay, for my next one, I'll show you the mini one. So here I want to use from the blue template, the orange box and the petit, which means small. So I group this here. So this one I group with my uh, magnifying glass. And again, I want to cover the whole area. And the small box needs to cover the thing that I want to make smaller. So keep the object in a normal size. So this is what it will look like after you use the magnifying glass. So don't make it smaller. It will make, make it smaller automatically. So I need to make sure that this is um, in the top layer and I, oops, and I group this together. So you can use Control G to group things. And I also need to make it draggable. There we go. I also need to remember to put the yellow code box on the page. So now um, you can see that it's working because all the elements are invisible. So now I can drag this around 
and you can see the text is really tiny so we'll try to the extension makes it as small as possible so you really can't read it and only when I go over it with my magnifying glass then it goes big and I can now read it so this has turned it back into the normal size that it was at the beginning so that's a really cool one okay so here I want to find the light switch in the dark and I've made a little torch here. This is just from the resources and this is just one of these shapes here that I've turned yellow and I've grouped them together and the light switch uh, is going to be invisible at first. So I want the lamp and the invisible element. Um, so I put them on here. I also need to remember the yellow, um, the yellow coat. Okay, so my invisible item will be the light switch group them together then my light so the element that I want to be active really is the front bit the, the light beam so this is that needs to hit that light switch to make it appear so I group these things together group and now when I go into preview the light switch is invisible until ah, I need to so here my light switch is invisible until I move around my light and as soon as I go over it, it appears. Okay, but it disappears again when I take the light away, which kind of makes sense because you can't see it when the light isn't there anymore. Um, so I could add a link to this light switch that if I click on it, I get to the next page, for example, or um, yeah, which then shows me the room as it is with the light on. There's a further element to this extension which makes a thing disappear when you come close to it with a light. And this example with, with the candle that is being lit is actually really good because it uses all of the extension included in this uh, at the same time. So we can see here that the flame is grouped with the flame element because that's what we want to appear. The light is um, grouped with the torch element, which means that if I get with the torch up to this area, it will light the flame. And if I use the torch element here on this candle, then this has the disappearing uh, element group with it, which means this unlit candle would disappear and reveal behind it um, the lit candle, which in itself will appear because it's grouped with the flame but it's also grouped with the lamp element and I can also move it around the page so if I use this over here it then makes that pig visible which was invisible before so it's using all of the elements in here together to create this effect.